Welcome to a conversation that the team at North East Water is having, exploring what our role is in addressing climate change. We would argue we've always been in the business of climate change in terms of investing in the security and resilience of the water supplies for our communities, particularly during periods of drought. Our challenge now is to take the discipline of thinking we've applied to the water cycle and apply it to the carbon cycle. So here we're exploring what our piece of the global jigsaw is. When we think about the water cycle at a global scale, we could consider it still largely in balance. We've still got the same amount of water interacting between the surface of the earth and the atmosphere. In contrast to this, when we think about the carbon cycle, a lot has changed. The combination of deforestation, the mining and burning of gas, oil and coal to fuel industry and transportation means that the carbon cycle now has a significantly higher level of carbon occurring in the atmosphere rather than sitting either on the surface of the earth or below the surface of the earth. And this is what is resulting in the weather giving us a different experience as the weather represents the interaction between the carbon cycle and the water cycle. So a piece of the jigsaw is starting to take shape. On one side, we have our adaptation initiatives where we're investing locally for local resilience. On the other side of the jigsaw piece, we have mitigation where we're acting locally to help contribute towards global resilience of the atmosphere. What isn't intuitive to most people is just how energy intensive the provision of water and sanitation services are. For example, our scope one emissions, which are the emissions direct from our wastewater treatment processes, account for a third of our greenhouse gas emissions. And then on top of that, the other two thirds is made up by the amount of electricity we use to not just provide safe drinking water, but also uh, treat sanitation and trade waste services for water that gets returned back to the environment. So I guess the reality is, if you're part of the problem, we need to be part of the solution. Our ambition in this space is to be judged by our actions. And one of the great projects we've already started is in partnership with the community out at Yakandanda through TRI, or Totally Renewable Yakandanda. The two parts of this project include working to take the water treatment plant off the grid through trialling the use of battery storage and also having a small community project where the electricity off solar panels off individual households will help run one of North East Water's pump stations. Uh, we need to do these sorts of projects to learn what works and act as a model that we can replicate across the region. At another scale, we're initiating a project at the West Wodonga Wastewater Treatment Plant, which services Wodonga and surrounds. This site consumes approximately 30% of all the electricity used by North East Water across the entire region and accounts for some 40% of our Scope 1 emissions. What comes with this is the opportunity to upgrade the plant and significantly reduce these. The combination of increasing the efficiency of the aeration, capturing methane and converting that into energy and putting in a significant amount of solar arrays means that this plant could not only potentially become entirely self-sufficient but also export energy into the grid for use at other North East Water sites. With those couple of insights to our thinking and the projects that we're working on, we'd now like to work with various partners across the region to explore how our piece of the jigsaw and your piece of the jigsaw can work together on projects for the benefit of the region, ensuring that we continue to build resilience for the future for the beautiful North East Victoria.